my dear students in this video we are going to discuss on irrational numbers so as we have discussed in earlier videos about rational and irrational both so irrational numbers are the numbers which are non terminating non repeating numbers and rational numbers are the numbers which are either repeating or terminating but irrationals are non terminating non repeating so we do not know the exact value of this root 2 because if i express it then its value will be non terminating non repeating so i do not know its exact value but as far as rational numbers are concerned for example 1 by 4 i know its value its value is 0 0.25 and it will not go longer than this and if i write 2 by 3 its value is 0 0.66 and so on so this is repeating this is terminating and value of this is non terminating non repeating so i cannot write its exact value so if i wish to express these numbers on real line so rational numbers can be expressed in real line but for expressing these kind of irrational numbers and we do not know its exact value let's see how to draw these numbers on this real line this is real line expanded from minus infinity to plus infinity and i discussed about this real numbers these real numbers and this real line in last video let's come to know where this root 2 will be lying so dear students for drawing this root 2 let's measure a unit distance one centimeter on this line and from this one centimeter draw a perpendicular on this line of length what of length one centimeter again so using pythagoras theorem using pythagoras theorem pythagoras theorem we can know this hypotenuse of this right triangle so let this point be a using pythagoras theorem i can know about this let this point be p1 op1 so to know op1 i will have to use pythagoras theorem and pythagoras theorem says op1 square hypotenuse square is equal to oa square perpendicular oh sorry base square plus ap1 square op1 square i don't know oa square i know 1 square plus 1 square and 1 square plus 1 square is 1 plus 1 and this value is 2 so op1 square is 2 so op1 is what plus minus root 2 but this is concerned with distance that is why i am not taking minus so op1 is what root 2 and keep your rounder at these points and draw a circle and your circle will cut the line at some point and this point from o is called situated at a root 2 distance let this point be q1 q1 so q1 distance of this point this is approx figure but if you will use proper manage uh, proper me me measurement then you will know the exact position and you can use your scale to evaluate its value so its value will be like 1.41 something 
and now if you if you wish to draw root 3 root 3 after drawing root 3 if we wish to draw root 3 on this real line let's draw one more perpendicular from this point draw a perpendicular at this point p1 of length what of length one centimeter and now you can see that this has become this has become a right triangle again and right triangle is what op1 p2 so op1 p2 in right triangle op1 p2 op2 square using pythagoras theorem is equal to op1 square plus p1 p2 square op1 square is root 2 square plus p1 p2 is 1 square so root 2 square is 2 plus 1 op2 square is this 2 plus 1 therefore op2 is square root of this square root of 3 so again keeping your rounder at these two points and draw a circle then you will be getting position of root 3 from origin again i am saying that this i am using on the basis of my approx judgment but when you will use your what rounder and proper scaling scaling arrangement then you will find the exact position of this point q2 and this is situated at a distance at a distance of root 2 from o o means this oq1 is what oq1 is the value of this so root 2 root 2 is located over here means this is the distance of this point root 2 from origin and oq2 oq2 this distance is called root 3 and for root 4 you know there is no problem at all root 4 is 2 but if you wish to draw root 5 or you wish to locate this root 5 point root 5 means this number root 5 irrational number on real line then then you can use the concept this let's mark a point a from origin of distance 2 centimeter draw a perpendicular of 1 centimeter use pythagoras to find this distance then this distance will be square root of 2 square plus 1 square which is root 5 keeping your rounder at these points draw a circle this value means this point is root 5 let this point be q3 so this point this location location of root 5 is this and this is the exact location so likewise if you wish to if you wish to mark a point root 6 on this line again use a right triangle take this value as 1 centimeter and use Pythagoras theorem if you use Pythagoras theorem again you will get 
square of this plus square of this 5 plus 1 6 draw a circle with the help of rounder this point will be root 6 and similarly if you wish to draw root 7 root 8 root 9 likewise you can use the same procedure this procedure of locating a number on real line locating an irrational number uh, on real line is called a spiral procedure a spiral procedure so i hope that you could have understood this my good wishes with you all the best